This is part 3 of the WordPress portfolio tutorial. Part 3 covers creating pages, an overview of the text editor, and making a static front page. When you first create a WordPress site, you start with two separate pages, the About page and your main blogging page, which is set as your home page. You can add as many pages as you need to customize your portfolio, and you can arrange the information in a variety of ways. We will create five blank pages to work with, and we'll be adding content to the pages later in the tutorial. Start at your dashboard, and then click on the Pages option from your dashboard menu. From here, you can create new pages and manage content. To make a new page, first click Add New located under the Pages menu. Remember, we are just creating placeholders where we will add content later. We are going to create a blog page, a resume page, a work samples page, a sample page, and a contact page. Type in blog as your title on the first page and then click the Publish button. You must click on the Publish button once you have added or edited content on a page to save the data. If you click Add New before Publish, then your changes will be lost. Now we're going to add the next four pages by clicking Add New, adding our title, and our next page will be Resume, and then clicking Publish. You'll know your page has been published after you see this yellow bar here that says your page has been published. So now we're going to add a work samples page, a sample page, and a contact page. Remembering to click on publish each time. Our last page is going to be Contact. To view a list of pages from the screen, click on the Pages button underneath the Pages menu, and it will show you a list of all the pages you have created. To add content to a page, just hover over the title and it will show you this little menu. We're going to edit the contact page and add some information and talk about the text editor. So whatever you add in this box will show up in the body of your page. So we're just going to add some contact information here. Remember this will be public, so you want to be careful giving out your personal information. You may want to use a work phone, and you probably don't want to give your home address. So this is the text editor. The text editor is like a limited word processor that helps you format the content of your page. To expand your menu options further, click on the kitchen sink button. As an example of what your text editor can do, highlight your name and click on the B button. This will bold your name. This editor is a lot like other text editors. You can make your text italics, change the size of your text, create links, and do a variety of other things. If you know HTML, you can use the HTML tab on the right side of the menu to use tags to format your content. Remember, after you've made your changes, you want to update your page by clicking the Update button, and you want to view your page to see the changes that you've made. To give your site a more professional feel and make it look less like a blog, we are going to create a static front page. Right now, your site's URL takes you to the blogging page. We want our URL to always start at the About page. Note, you can name this whatever you'd like. You could also call it the Home page. From the Dashboard, click on Settings. It's the very last one down on the left side in the Dashboard menu. And then click Reading from that menu. 
choose the radio button next to a static page, and then for the, from the front page pull down menu, choose about, and from the post page choose blog. Including a post or a blog page is optional. You can leave it off your navigation menu or choose to not redirect the post page if you don't want to include a blog in your final portfolio. Once you've made your changes, click Save Changes. Now when you go to your page, it'll take you to your About page instead of your Blog page. This tutorial is continued in Part 4.